Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 44 for learning MyMath system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to create our teacher detail page. If uh, this is our all, this is you can say the home page. And if we go to the see all here, we will see all the course list. When we click on specific, then it will show the specific detail. In our previous video, we have seen that how we can fetch the related courses. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I know that we need, uh, uh, this is our pending task that we need to count the duration of the particular video and the particular course, but we will do this. Okay. Maybe later. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you that how we can create the uh, teacher detail page. When we click on this, this is just a static page. So in this page, we are showing the teacher detail, uh, the name, uh, some bio or description skills a recent course a rating and the course list okay so the uh, we are going to design uh, we are going to implement this page maybe we will not implement the recent course or skills rating but we will fetch all the course list uh, the teacher detail okay or maybe we can uh, fetch uh, we can implement this uh, skill when we click on the skill then it will show the uh, show all the courses according to the that category or that tag or that skill okay so let's start to do this so first of all, uh, if we go to our model and in the model, uh, our course is uh, our every course is attached with the teacher and category. Okay. So what I will do here, I will in the teacher in the course model, I will add here the related name. Okay. So related name, but it will do. Let me show you. I will see. I will say teacher courses. Okay. So what it will do. Uh, it will fetch all the all the courses it will fetch all the courses which are attached to this particular teacher okay so uh, this related name will do this thing okay now in the serializer in the serializer here i will mention here i will mention the related name okay so i will mention here the related name teacher courses in the teacher serializer okay now we have a url for teacher detail okay here you can see that teacher integer we are passing the primary key okay now we will go to the uh, we will go to our api if we pass here then here you can see that it is returning teacher courses okay here you can see that returning teacher courses but it is returning the id but what we need we need all the data so i will go to serializer and i will define depth one so what it will do it will it will go to the depth depth means the relation Okay, the relation between the teacher and the course and uh, it will go to the depth one. Okay, depth one means one level relation. If teacher is another, if teacher has another level relation or we want to fetch those, then we can add depth two. Okay, so <coughs> there is available documentation, the DRF, you can search this depth. Okay, I think uh, you have a overview that uh, what it will do. Okay, now if I refresh this page. Here you can see that the teacher courses provide provides us these thing. Okay, so this teacher has these courses, right? And if I let's go to the teacher list, this uh, teacher list, we have this teacher list. Okay, and let's go to uh, teacher number thirteen. Let's go here. Thirteen. Thirteen has uh, no related courses. And if I go to fourteen let's go 14 so 14 has teacher courses okay so it is showing now the thing is we need to fetch all the data in our detail page teacher detail page so here is our teacher teacher detail page right now let's see this that how we can implement so i'll open <coughs> i'll open the front end let's go to source components and course detail okay here we are so teacher full name and we are providing the teacher details so what i will do here so we need to provide what's the url yeah this is the url i will not touch the uh, string this and i'll just remove okay i'll just add the teacher id so it will be pk primary key 
okay now if i refresh this page you can uh, uh, it is showing undefined if i say id then what it will do yes it is it is uh, it is showing the id okay so it is returning the id as a primary key okay so here we have a id <coughs> now uh, what we need to do next we need to when we click on this we need to fetch all the data so i'll go here uh, teacher and let's say teacher teacher courses right so teacher courses here we have course data and uh, lots of things we have okay so let's okay so we are fetching php course one let's have we done that have we done that before fetch data from database and uh, teacher login logout upload chapter teacher detail page okay we have done that already so name image enrolled and this is where we are passing the teacher courses okay so here we have a url teacher courses and this is where we are passing but i think we are not passing the detail this is let's go here and let's go to john doe and this is john doe and something like this let's go to teacher courses oh this is not this is not no 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 teacher detail okay no 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 this is not uh, this is not uh, what we are looking actually we have implemented this in our dashboard this teacher detail page is dashboard not this uh, I, uh, not a dashboard actually this is just a static design okay we need to implement this okay let's implement this so <clears throat> we need to fetch the data so i'll copy any of the you know any of the things uh, let's say link link we have already we just need to fetch use state use effect axios and maybe we don't need the site url if we need we can we can create a base url right and also we need to create a function we have a function and in the function we need course data okay so one is our teacher detail and one is our course data so one is our teacher data let's say we have teacher data teacher data and here we will set this right now what we need more uh, we need the id right so we need the co teacher id right so teacher id so it must match with our uh, inner router whatever we have passed so let's go to component let's go to main main and what we have passed in the teacher detail so let's see what's the teacher detail okay so i'll search here so we are passing teacher id right so here we will fetch teacher id okay and in the in this fetch courses let's go here and fetch here and uh, the name of the url will be uh, teacher slash the id okay so teacher slash teacher id okay and now we need to uh, set the data so this will be uh, teacher courses okay in the in the course data it will be teacher courses we will set okay and set uh, teacher data will be the data okay we, not, we don't need anything else so this is teacher data and this is uh, teacher courses okay so now it should work okay so let's go and check that it's returning the correct a result or not right so okay it is returning any kind of error so it is teacher base url teacher teacher id console set teacher data and set course data so everything is fine teacher courses teacher data and what we are missing 
okay so we are missing nothing so let's see what it is turning in the console what it is saying use parameter is not defined correct we need to use the use this package to fetch the use params right okay so this use param i uh, used to fetch the parameter from the top right now if we go to the network here we have a api teacher this and if you go to the response we have response okay so uh, url is returning response now we just need to embed this response here so first of all the teacher data teacher data dot dot what's name is full name okay and what another thing is let's if i go to the teacher qualification mobile skills so we don't we don't have any bio okay so let's create the bio or you can say the description right so qualification mobile number let's create the bio bio field okay or you can say detail and this will be our text field so model start text field and default it will be null so default or you can say null equal to true null equal to true okay so we need to run the migration right so okay here we are uh, python 3 manage dot py make migrations okay so here we have a uh, we have add the field to teacher and alter the field teacher on course right we have added the related name and now python 3 minus manage dot py manage dot py migrate right so here we have migrated now <coughs> we have this field okay so let's implement let's add if i refresh this page here okay right it is saying right we have we didn't started the server so we have this uh, here it is not showing the bio field because we need to add in the serializer right so here we have not a bio i think it's a detail right so refresh this page so detail so i'll i'll say uh, this is 14 let's say for one okay so john doe hi i am john doe i am i have master degree in computer science i have master i have master degree in computer science right science spelling is strong right so put here so here we have updated the data now we can fetch the detail so teacher detail and in this we will fetch the data detail right so here you can see that detail is fetching we will come to this later skills uh, related recent course and rating let's implement our course list and when we click on that it will go to the detail page okay so what i will do here uh, let's implement this with the map function so course data dot map right and this will be go here okay and in this we will pass this link here right and the first index will be our data okay right so the first index will be course and the second one is index right and uh, everything is fine uh, here we will add course dot title right now if i go here here you can see that everything has been changed now what it is why this is not becoming a link okay this is now link okay right now we will add here 
uh, what's the course detail page url let's check this detail slash whatever we have okay <coughs> here we will add slash detail slash dollar and then course id right so course dot id okay and here we when we click on this when we click on this it will go to course detail page if we click on this this is django full course click on john doe laravel with full course john doe flask here here click on this here we have click on this here we have right so we have implemented our teacher detail page now in this detail page i know that there are lots of things we have pending uh, every maybe uh, the detail page is also not uh, completed we need to uh, we need to uh, connect this uh, attack with some page we also need to fetch the duration what we will do that we will do that and i will try i'm trying to do i'm trying to i'm trying to upload the video fast as can as much as i can and uh, yes so when we click on this we will in the next video we will definitely work on this skills and the recent course okay we will fetch the recent course okay and when our student and uh, everything is enrolled then we can uh, fetch this rating okay so yeah in this video i just want to show you that how we can fetch all the things and how we have connected with the things how we can change the model to fetch the related data okay so, so thank you so much for watching this video please read uh, please like share subscribe this video this channel okay and please don't uh, don't forget to uh, support me on uh, github on the razor pay paypal you can follow me on uh, also on github and uh, instagram and facebook okay and if you want to join my membership please join the membership uh, i will uh, uh, give you the access of the uh, repositories any of the repository you want okay and uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching this video thank you